during the brace and how it's helping you get better. So we're Wellings and we make wearable devices for orthotics and prosthetics. Hi, my name is Mette. I am from Legoland, also known as Denmark. I like to build things. This is my fourth company. I am an economist, uh, not a doctor, and I still speak at medical conferences like Stanford Medicine X and so on. The world is changing. Um, in my 20s, I went from top grades to unable to read a book, from being a model to overweight, and from um, trying to grasp what was going on with all of these symptoms, as you see behind me. Medicated like an elderly person, I went in, can I go back? Um, I went into the ring, literally. Uh, I worked as a model, so you get um, a nutritionist and a boxing trainer, and essentially the model was calories in, calories out. So 2,000 calories became 1,800 calories, became 1,200. And when I wasn't losing weight, I got fired for cheating. After 10 years of confounding cases, heart problems, six autoimmune diseases, my doctors told me I could expect good news and then proceeded to tell me I wasn't going to die in the immediate future. I told him, if I went to the company I'm a CEO for and told them we're not going to go bankrupt in first quarter, I'm pretty sure I'll be out of a job. So what are we going to do about my process? And he said, well, we're happy with your numbers. Well, there was one thing I wasn't happy with. It was my numbers, never mind my symptoms. So I found my inner Sherlock Holmes, and I started looking at correlations. I tracked all my metrics during the day, inserted in Excel spreadsheets, and in five months, I proved I wasn't a heart patient, and then moved on to my other autoimmune conditions. And I'm not alone. There's 24 million people with an autoimmune condition in the US today. That's the same as the population of Australia, or the amount of people watching the Trump debate last week. <laughs> and the, the way the system works today it's you get symptom suppressing drugs. And it doesn't matter who you are or if you have 20 million in the bank. The system does not have a good diagnostic tool for all of these confounding cases. So what is MIME? So at first we look like an app, but in reality we're more of a service providing a diagnostic tool for practitioners to look at the observational data that goes on between visits. I don't know how to do it. Can you move it forward? Um, so what we're really doing is we're looking at the underlying non-obvious correlations between triggers and symptoms. Oh, now it's working. Um, the, why now? So there's two things. Autoimmune epidemic is basically the amount of people with these confounding cases is on the rise, and scientists worldwide have no idea why this is. At the same time, the cost today is 120 billion yearly, and autonomy is on the rise. People want to figure out what's going on for themselves, and they're tracking already. So it's inevitable that doctors will be looking into lifestyle components in the near future to figure out what's actually going on. Last but not least, we have AI like Watson available to provide the cognitive computing to actually put all of these different components together. There's a lot of competition in this field, thank God, uh, but it also means that what we are looking at is unknown causes. What most of our competition is doing is looking at NIH studies, known causalities, and improving within this medical paradigm as it is today. When my co-founder's article about his tracking came out, it flutters how many people were looking. Demand is here, and we don't even have practitioners to take over all these clients. So medicine used to be you'd get medication and you'd either get well or you wouldn't. But today, doctors don't have the right tools. We are talking about lifestyle diseases, and they don't know what's going on between these visits. So I'll leave you with this last note, which is you can never change things by fighting the existing reality. Uh, in order to change something, you have to make the existing model obsolete. And I think that's a good takeaway from also the panel earlier is if people are already talking about it, there's a hundred people looking at it. Find a problem that you've, you know, either have yourself or you've seen in your near 
circle and start working on that. Because as much as somebody four years ago when they looked at me and said, you're crazy, nobody's going to be tracking what they eat. Today they are, and they're doing it seamlessly. Thank you.